All right, we're going to have a look in this series of tutorials at different roof techniques within Revit. Um, so I've assembled a bit of a hodgepodge of a model here with all different sorts of roof techniques applied all over it, just as a bit of a guide for a point of different type of roof styles to have, start having a look at. Um, I've created um, some other blocks of walls over here that we'll start trying to replicate some of those walls and then we can have a look at these techniques um, as we go there. So to start with, um, I've got a floor level, I've got a level called floor level, I've got some walls laid out in this T-shaped sort of building to work with, uh, something like about something like about 15 metres long um, in that overall dimension probably about 10 or 11 metres long in, in that direction. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to investigate, oh, probably the other thing to sort of discuss is that I've got um, the level set up. If I go to my east level here, east elevation here, I've got a couple of levels set up, one called floor level and one called roof level one. Um, so it's been around about three metres between them. Now, so if I go to my floor level, I can see my wall layout, I'll start to put the first roof um, maybe on, on this layout through here. So I'll use the, uh, I'll go up to the next level so that I can establish the roof on this level. I seem to have an underlay turned on at that level for the floor level so I can see the walls underneath which is nice and handy. This might give them a little bit more space so I can't tab through them and just nudge them over a little bit of little bit away from that other building. Okay, so I'll go to the uh, architecture roof command and I'm going to start off with showing you the pick wall command which is very handy. If you have a roof which is going to be um, sprung or pitched from the top plate of a wall, this is a really good tool to use. You can set up these lines you're about, about to draw so that they do define a slope. So the, the wall or the roof will slope from this highlighted dashed line there at the moment and it will slope up and away from that line. Uh, we can set up an overhang of 600 millimetres, that's the offset that's appearing there as I'm hovering over it. And you can set up the, the, um, that that overhang will be measured from the core boundaries of the walls that you've created um, if you have created uh, compound composite walls. My wall here is just a simple wall so it won't matter. I can leave that extend to wall core turned off. So while you've got this um, pick walls command there, you can hover over one of these walls and press tab and it will find the chain of walls going all the way around the building. So it's thrown all of those in as all pitched lines to create the, the roof shape in plan view. I can now change the roof slope to the roof slope that I wanted to use. I'm just going to go for 25 degrees at this stage. And I seem to have to escape after doing that a couple of times. So yeah, I'll just double check that all of these roofs are indicating that they now have a slope of 25 degrees. Okay, so if we just click the finish mode there, the tick, we can see that we've created a roof fairly simply over our wall layout. Now, to demonstrate the difference between that pick wall tool to just drawing lines, I'm going to do the same roof over here on, on this set of walls here. So I'll go back to roof level one. I'll go back to my roof command, do the same thing again, roof by footprint. It enters into sketch mode. Now, just to show you the difference between picking walls and picking lines, because it will appear to look the same, if I change to the pick lines tool, this will now draw a series of lines for me. I can even give it an offset of 600, exactly like I did before. It'll all look exactly the same. I can probably even tab through there. No, it's not tabbing. Maybe if I tab. Okay, tabbing's not working for me for there, so it doesn't matter. I'll just click every one of them individually. This will appear to give me the same result. But the difference here is that these line, sketch lines that I'm drawing now 
um, are simply lines giving the indication of where the roof goes in plain view with, a, with an offset from that level to the underside of the roof to be set up at the moment as per here. Uh, this seems to be set up with an offset of zero. So in other words, this roof is going to be constructed with the base of the roof along these lines at the roof level. Whereas this roof was constructed by picking the wall as a pitching point, so the base level of the wall will be along the wall, and then the roof will overhang, and over that eaves overhang area, the edge of the roof will slope downwards. So in this case, when you pick walls, everything will be measured from the wall boundary. In this case, when you use any of the other commands up here, the line that you drill will set the base level for the wall. So just to double illustrate that, when I finish that, they both look exactly the same in plan view. But if I have a look in this elevation view down here, what they look like. And maybe even if I illustrate it more by turning uh, wireframe on, you can see that this roof over here was pitched off that wall's top plate at the, at the right level. Whereas over here, this roof, the magenta lines we drew in sketch mode were drawn at that level. So the difference between that point being the zero level of the roof and that point being the zero level of the roof. Obviously, this is the way you'd normally want to construct a roof with the rafters pitching on that load bearing element of the wall and then pitching down as they slope down to form the eaves, not like this. So, with that in mind, we'll just go back to our floor level um, and then roof level, and I might delete that roof because we've already had the discussion now and go back to the floor level and delete those walls. We've had the discussion now and you can understand that um, this was the correct way of, uh, of drawing the roof, so it was pitching from the walls. Now, if I move these walls around, you'll notice it's pretty clever in roof level one, because this roof was drawn by um, by picking those walls, when the wall the attachment is there in the, in the BIM model, um, but as the walls moved, uh, the roof moves as well, which is uh, which is nice and handy. So if I hover over those walls and tab to select all of the walls, I can move the walls, and the roof comes with it. Okay. So that's the that's roof simply. Now, um, what we might do? Well, that's the first simple roof. I'll stop the video there at that point, um, and I'll start up the next video, and we'll have a look at doing some um, you know further editing to that type of roof shape.